I, I think we're talking across purposes. On the one hand, we're talking about results that we're hoping for. On the other hand, we're talking about processes that we're setting in motion. Uh, you're saying, should we hope for certain kinds of lessening of inequality and so on? Uh, the real question, the political question is, shall we set in motion certain processes because we hope for that? And do those processes enhance or reduce freedom? And I think the argument that Milton is making, certainly the argument that I would make, is that the attempt at doing these things, and it doesn't really matter, it's a complete straw man to talk about absolute inequality. But if you, if, no, no, yeah, not yes, at all. Yes, it is, no. absolutely. Throughout the film, this is the straw man he brings up in order to say how ridiculous to have absolute equality. And then he goes on no, to say how ridiculous but, but to have absolute equality. My whole point is, as, well. as, a, as a result, you see, that you set up processes who who's, who's in result may not be any more or less inequality than exists now but the question is those processes may indeed reduce freedom greatly uh, I would go beyond the question of equality and, and put it more generally that any process to ascribe any status to any group of people equality inferiority superiority must necessarily reduce freedom because whatever the government wishes to ascribe to any group whatever whatever place to use the phrase that was very common in the south that blacks should have their place whatever place the government is going to assign the people. That place will not coincide. Wait, that, that place will not coincide either with, with what all those people are doing or with how others perceive all those people because there's too much diversity among human beings. To maintain any system of ascribed status from the top is going to mean reducing people's freedom across the spectrum. That's right. the point. People have an ascribed status. It isn't as if government by its intervention creates it. People are born into this world in a given sector of a society and many, many of them are born at the bottom of the society. The argument for, of, about equality of results was an argument that was linked to equality of opportunity. People recognized that unless there was a degree of equality in a, a degree of uh, enough food, enough security, uh, access to education. Unless these things were available to all children, then equality of opportunity was merely a mockery. That's why equality of results became an issue, and it became an issue for black people in the United States, and they expressed their concern, no, whatever they the opinion You expressed polls, it, damn it, look. The, 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 no, they did not. They, they did not. They damn expressed it. that. Can I just it and then reply? That. They expressed their will by their extraordinary participation in a protest movement that began in the late 1950s and didn't end until I the have 1960s. Never. Intellectuals were not in that protest movement. You want me to Black answer or you want to keep going? In that protest. You want me to answer? I finished. Yes. Good. Black people have never supported, for example, affirmative action quotas, anything of that sort, wherever polls have been taken of black opinion on such matters of should people be paid equally or should there be this or that, black people have never taken a position that you describe. So it is not a question of what black people chose to do. It's what you, you choose to put in the mouths of black people. It's what you choose to, to project. It is not what any black people have ever said anywhere that you can put your it's finger on. It's what you on. choose to put into the mouth of the pollsters as far as I can see. I put the, the mouth leadership of the, of the black community. Like most people, I have never seen a pollster. If you look at the leadership of the black... <laughs> but I want to go back yeah. to the... I want to carry it back to uh, the earlier point. Number one, there's no question about what equality of results, if it comes about through a framework of freedom, is a desirable result. Number two, I argue in the film, I have argued here, that in point of fact, you get greater equality of actual results by a system under which people are free to achieve unequal results. That for the poor people of the world that uh, Francis Fox Piven was talking about, the most effective mechanism for enabling them to improve their status is not a governmental program which seeks to ascribe to them certain positions, which seeks to provide them with certain goods and services, but a governmental program which tries to eliminate arbitrary barriers to advancement. I would say that in this world, the greatest source of inequality has been special privileges granted by government. That government, you may talk a great deal, there may be a lot of talk about how we're going to eliminate inequality. But if you look at, go back to your case of Britain, is there any doubt that one of the effects of governmental intervention in Britain has been to create new opportunities for special classes? That the way to get wealthy in a society that supposedly is aiming at equality that the way to get wealthy is to get a special government permit to import uh, import to get foreign exchange or to import goods or to, in this country to set up a television station